Hey everyone, good morning and greetings from Green Bay, Wisconsin, where I'm here at the New Zoo. New stands for Northeastern Wisconsin Zoo and Adventure Park. And I'm gonna go check out all the animals, show you all the exhibits, and I'm also gonna go feed the penguins. I love penguins, so I'm very excited for that. We're now at one of my favorite animals in the whole wide world, the penguin. They have a really nice penguin enclosure. These guys are African penguins, so they're, they're warm weather penguins. And uh, they have a really nice enclosure. You get some underwater viewing over there on the other side of the waterfall. You can see them hopping around. Now, one thing I love that this zoo does, I, I've not seen this anywhere else really, especially for this price point. You can feed the penguins for $15. You can go in the enclosure with a, with a trainer once a day and feed the penguins. I did it, it was an amazing experience. Um, and that $15, the keepers then take that $15 and they use it to buy enrichment toys for the penguins, so the $15 is going for a good cause as this guy waddles on in. Ah, penguins are the best. Uh, is there one I should aim for? Um, you know, uh, Mr. Bill can catch them pretty well. Uh, Wonka catches them pretty well. Otherwise, they'll end up grabbing them. Lenny usually does if he wants it. So he just kind of talks it like that. <laughs> and, he didn't want it. and then uh, Gilbert got it. I'll just give them to you and you can toss. All right. All right. Oh. Is that yeah, it? That's it. Oh, Gilbert's like, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Yep. Oh, man. So they get fed a couple different types of fish, and Lenny mm -hmm. prefers the Cape ones that are not these ones. He'll eat these ones if he has to. Gotcha. Which one should I aim for? Um, Wonka's really good at catching them, the purple one. Here you go, Wonka. Wow. Man, that is one hungry penguin. <laughs> uh, you can see the zoo's African lions doing what lions tend to do most. And that is sleep. These guys sleep most of the day. The male is beautiful, though. Not the easiest thing to see with the glare and the smudges. But sleeping over there is an albino alligator. So I love this. On a cheesiest level, look at this turtle exhibit. The house is shaped like a giant turtle. And there you can see a giant Aldebar tortoise. Hey, Another view of the Aldebar tortoises, including the big one over here. Love that building. It feels like something out of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Over here, I believe this animal is a pronghorn. Kind of a Loki's type uh, horn. So one of the stars of the zoo is the big reticulated giraffe. And so it's really cool. You can feed them for only a dollar. So if you're... He ate those very quickly. Oh, and he just bit the pole. Cool giraffe. Really cheap. This is the cheapest zoo I've ever seen that at. Looks like a little on the tired side. We got a couple of prairie dogs. Oh, one's up and moving around a little bit. And they do have a, like, for kids, a little pop-up tunnel you can crawl into. The, running around there is a zoo animal I don't see very often. This is an American badger. And obviously the, the mascot of the Wisconsin badgers. But uh, it's, it's not one that's in a lot of zoos. So for me, not one I've got to see very often. So that is uh, pretty cool. I got to see him wandering around. I'll be coming back. What a cool guy. Also got a little crawl through thing. But man, I think he's heard the truck and he's curious if that's gonna bring him food. Kudos to the new zoo. They've got one of the largest enclosures I've ever seen for the North American river otter. Just saw him, they were very active. Just saw him playing in the water a moment ago. Now they're over there. I believe they're grooming each other. Yeah, they're pretty cool. A little closer view of the otters here as they're playing. It's pretty exciting here. You can see a North American porcupine who is awake for us on a, on a little perch. One more shot of the porcupine there. So you can see his little face. Right here, up and close for us, is a crane. I believe they're sandhill cranes, but I'm not 100% sure. 
And now in these zoos, kind of like their, their children's zoo or their petting zoo area, see a couple of chickens over here. What I find interesting about the children's zoo, it's kind of separated into two halves with these steps going between it. And the steps and the bridge, well, those are for goats and sheep to walk on either side. So you can see this guy up there, he's hanging out up on the, the ledge. Get a cool view there of the sheep. I just feel like sheep are happy, friendly animals. As well as some of the goats. Also a pretty cool table they have over here. Over here, these fuzzy headed creatures, these are alpacas. Looks like they have five or six. I like the pose that guy's in. There's also a barn area where you can walk in and see some of the animals. Get a little bit more up close. Ooh, snakes. Not my favorite. Oh, and the alpaca just left. Oh, this is adorable. Sleeping so peacefully over here. That's a giant Flemish rabbit, which are a very large species of rabbit. Look at its little nose. Aww. Got up close to one of the alpacas here in the barn. And I had to point this out as a big Disney dwarf. One of the alpacas' names is Cusco. I don't know if it's him or not. Hanging out over here. Moving it promptly at the speed of turtle. That is an African leopard tortoise. In this enclosure here, you can see a pair of laughing kookaburros. Kind of fuzzy little birds. Very loud when they are vocalizing. Getting right up close and personal with a couple of emus. As they are right at the edge of their enclosure near the people. That face. Beautiful animal here is a wattled crane. Such strong colors. I'm not sure if the camera is going to focus on them. That's how walking over to us is a red rumped agouti. They've got two of them in here. I believe these guys are uh, in the rodent family. But they're, uh, they're pretty cool looking. I'm gonna go ahead and assume this is probably the largest enclosure in the new zoo here. It is home to bison and elk. Very pretty looking, kind of far away. But look at the elk. Let me zoom over and see if I can get him. That's that's a beautiful animal. Over here's a pan of trumpeter swans. Make a little bit of noise for us. They are very large swans. Here's one you don't see in many zoos. It's just the North American yeah, raccoon. Go that way. Sit down. So little face. Fall out. Really cute little face. It's a, it looks like a kind of a big boy, that raccoon. Crawling around at the bottom of the enclosure, that is a red panda. Some of the cutest animals you will ever see. Looks like he's got uh, lots of stuff he can climb on. This guy over here, he is very active, but his pal is not. Ah, uh, so this isn't a zoo animal. That's just a wild snake. I really don't like snakes, so I'm getting to get out of here pretty quickly. I enjoy when zoos and aquariums do stuff like this. We're at the American Bullfrog Enclosure, and the big sign on the sign says, look here, which is dead on. That is definitely where these guys like to hang out. It did take me a moment to find them, but the zoo does have a moose. The moose here at the zoo does have a pretty good amount of room in a, a lake they can hang out in. A little tough to see with the glare, but there are two of them in there. Those are black-necked stilts. Very interesting species of bird. Fortunately, not really posing for us is a burrowing owl. At least he turned around a little bit. The burrowing owl is my, uh, my favorite of the owl species. If you're curious, this one over here, that, that's a plushie. 
Put it on a little show for us right there. There's a cotton top tamarind. You get, look at his little hands. Over here you can see a pair of whooping cranes. Oh, they're not making their trademark noise at the moment. Sleeping down there is chinchilla. The zoo's got a pretty nice aviary here for North American birds. The highlight definitely being the bald eagle. Also in the aviary, a couple of very pretty looking pelicans. Both of them resting in very different poses. Unfortunately, when you come to the zoo, you can't see them all. So, can't find the Canadian lynx today, probably asleep. These guys here are snow owls. Two and they're both awake. Also, Molly would love this. Obviously, these are the, the character that Hedwig and Harry Potter is designed after. And they made a little homage to that here in the exhibit. This interesting looking bird over here. That is a helmeted guinea fowl. Sleeping over here is the red wolf. Uh, the red wolf is a critically endangered animal native to North America. This enclosure here is for the Japanese macaque, which is a kind of a fuzzy monkey. Oh, he just climbed away. Okay, there's a bunch of them over here. And there's a little that tiny one. I don't know where the baby went, but uh, they have a bunch of these guys. I think love. Always good to see a zoo trying to expand and get better and bigger. And they have a, a giant, uh, kind of like a five-phase plan that started out in uh, 2017 and has them going all the way through 2029 and beyond. Good for them. I hope to see you keep expanding. Not sure how well this is going to come out on camera, but they do have a prehensile tail porcupine. Sleeping over there is a big old black bear, just like you would see in you know, Gatlinburg and Smoky Mountains. A little bear face and some bear paws. And something that's really cool. The zoo has free roaming peacocks. And you can see one just hanging out at the top of the fence of the black bear. Another one of the larger enclosures here at the new zoo is for the white-tailed deer. And they've got a bunch of walkways here you can kind of walk around and see them. I'll see the male there with the antlers. You can see them kind of walking over towards us. Get another view there. Well, it's not operating on the day of my visit. They do have a very small carousel that you can ride for a couple of bucks. I like the alligator. I'm now inside of the conservation center, which is home to some smaller exhibits for a couple of reptiles and amphibians, including a blue tongue skink and the Bearded dragon. What are you doing? Look at how cool he is. <laughs> oh, very small little area. Now with this being the new zoo and adventure park, you can see the adventure park section over here. They've got zip lines and I think they have a ropes course as well. And that'll do it for a time here at the new zoo. I enjoyed it. I was here for about two hours. It cost you about $11 or so to get into. And I enjoyed it. They had a nice collection of animals. Obviously the highlight for me was doing the upcharge and feeding the penguins, my personal favorite animal. I get to feed those little guys. Uh, you know, I, some of them caught it better than other ones did, but still, that was an absolute blast. I also really liked some of the animals they had. I thought their, their river otter exhibit was really good. I love seeing the badger. That's an animal I don't really get to see in a lot of zoos. And I had a good time. If you have any questions about the new zoo, let me know in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.